We're all on the edge of our saddles, waiting for a live-action adaptation of the award-winning game Red Dead Redemption 2. The narrative richness and character depth of Red Dead Redemption 2 are ripe for exploration in a serialized format. A live-action adaptation of this game is not just a tantalizing prospect, but a logical next step. The success of current video game to television series adaptations like The Last of Us and Fallout signals a pivotal moment in entertainment history. With the popularity of these adaptations soaring, now is the perfect time to bring the captivating world of Red Dead Redemption 2 to life on the screen. However, the challenge lies in translating the game's success to the small screen, and a significant part of that challenge is casting. The characters in Red Dead Redemption 2 are so well realized that they feel like real people, and finding the right actors to bring them to life is paramount. Fans are eagerly anticipating the opportunity to see their beloved characters such as Dutch Vanderland, portrayed by talented actors who can capture the essence of these iconic figures. With his rugged good looks, commanding presence, and magnetic personality, Dutch is both a father figure and a cult-like leader to his loyal followers. He possesses a silver tongue, capable of inspiring his comrades with impassioned speeches and leading them into daring escapades across the untamed frontier of the late 19th century American West. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard! You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. However, beneath his charming facade lies a complex and morally ambiguous character, struggling to maintain his ideals of freedom and independence in a rapidly changing world. Dutch is a man torn between his desire for liberation and his willingness to resort to violence and manipulation to achieve his goals, making him a compelling and multifaceted antagonist whose motives are as mysterious as they are intriguing. The right casting could truly make this series a masterpiece. So, who has what it takes to bring Dutch Vanderland to life? Here's my top five potential actors. First is the Mad Titan himself. Josh Brolin is a seasoned actor known for his ability to embody complex characters with depth and authenticity. As Thanos in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Brolin embodied the imposing nature of a larger-than-life villain, commanding the screen with his physical presence and conveying the character's inner conflict with a well-executed subtlety. Similarly, his portrayal of Gurney Halleck in Doom demonstrated his ability to capture the essence of a rugged and charismatic leader, navigating the complexities of loyalty and honor in a harsh and unforgiving world. Drawing from these experiences, Brolin brings a wealth of talent and insight to the role of Dutch Vanderland, ensuring a captivating and authentic portrayal of the iconic outlaw leader. For 80 years, Arrakis belonged to House Harkonnen. 80 years of owning the spice fields. Can you imagine the wealth? In your eyes, I need to see it in your eyes. You never met Harkonnen's me before I have. They're not human, they're brutal. You have to be ready. In the role of Dutch, Roland would bring a rugged masculinity and intense presence that are essential to the character's charismatic nature. His portrayal would showcase Dutch's inner turmoil, allowing audiences to delve into the complexities of the outlaw's psyche. With Brolin at the helm, Dutch would come to life in a way that resonates with both fans of the game and newcomers to the story. Next is Paul Giamatti, a versatile actor renowned for his ability to portray characters with depth and nuance. As the historical figure John Adams, Giamatti brought to life the inner turmoil and steadfast determination of a founding father, showcasing his ability to embody historical figures with authenticity and deep conviction. Also, his role as Chuck Rhodes in Billions highlighted his talent for portraying characters who walk the fine line between savior and destructor. Drawing from these experiences, Giamatti is well equipped to tackle the multifaceted nature of Dutch Vanderland, bringing a depth of emotion and humanity to our outlaw leader. My, uh, my mother's father was from Italy. Hmm. He was a Roman, you know, and he taught me that when someone talks to you as though you are of no consequence, you have two choices. The first is to wilt away, and the second is to get right in their face and tell them 
Sei fuori come un bacone, figlio di buona donna. Sei così stronzo, eh, se che pesti una merda, fai scoppa! L'immortacce tua! Vaffanculo. Giamatti would bring a sense of humanity and vulnerability that adds layers of complexity to the character. His raw authenticity and emotional range would allow audiences to connect with Dutch on a deeper level, empathizing with his struggles and motivations. The portrayal from Giamatti would highlight Dutch's internal conflict and explore the fine line between heroism and villainy that defines the outlaw's journey. Next, we have Christian Bale, who is known for his transformative acting style and dedication to his craft. In the role of Dutch Vanderlyn, Bale would bring authenticity and depth to the character's journey. As Captain Joseph Blocker in Hostels, Bale portrayed a hardened and conflicted soldier grappling with the moral complexities of war, showcasing his ability to convey the inner turmoil of a troubled protagonist. Furthermore, his portrayal of Bruce Wayne and Batman in the Dark Knight trilogy demonstrated his talent for bringing iconic characters to life with legitimacy and gravitas, capturing the duality of a tortured hero torn between the darkness and the light. I saw what happened to the fourth when Yellowhawk and his dark soldiers got done with them. And there wasn't a... Don't you dare laugh. There wasn't enough left of those poor men to fill a slot pail. Understand, when we lay our heads down out here, we're all prisoners. I hate them. I got a war bag of reasons to hate him. Bale's commitment to truthfulness and attention to detail would allow him to fully immerse himself in Dutch's psyche, capturing both his charm and inner turmoil with precision. Bale's portrayal would showcase Dutch's complexity and moral uncertainty, exploring the conflicted nature of the gang's leader. Next up is Jeffrey Dean Morgan who possesses a magnetic presence and a rugged charm that makes him a compelling choice for the role of Dutch Vanderland. As the comedian and watchman, Morgan embodied the brutality and complexity of an anti-hero, captivating audiences with his intensity and unpredictability. On top of that, his portrayal of Negan in The Walking Dead displayed his talent for portraying charismatic yet menacing villains, commanding the screen with his larger-than-life presence and chilling charisma. He smashed skulls in the show with his trusty companion, Lucille. Just how I hope you smash those subscribe and like buttons on this video. Cut your son's left arm off right on that line. Yeah, I know. I know. You're going to have to process that for a second. That makes sense. Still, though, I'm going to need you to do it or all these people are going to die. Then Carl dies. Then the people back home die. And then you, eventually. With his ability to portray characters with a dark edge, Morgan would bring a sense of menace and unpredictability to Dutch's charismatic persona. His intense performance would keep audiences on the edge of their seats, never quite sure what Dutch will do next. Morgan's portrayal would capture the essence of the outlaw's cryptic nature, drawing viewers into the dangerous world of the Wild West. Lastly is Gary Oldman. Oldman is a legendary actor known for his unparalleled talent and ability to disappear into characters. In the role of Dutch Vanderlyn, Oldman would bring a sense of gravitas and intensity that are essential to the character's presence. As Winston Churchill in Darkest Hour, Oldman portrayed the iconic British Prime Minister with nuance and accuracy, capturing the essence of a larger-than-life historical figure with remarkable precision. Also, his portrayal of Stansfield in Lay on the Professional displayed his talent for portraying complex characters with alluring charisma and intensity. Drawing from these experiences, Oldman brings a sense of poise and depth to the role of Dutch Vanderland, infusing the character with layers of complexity and intrigue that elevate the performance to new heights. We shall fight in France. We shall fight on the seas and oceans. We shall fight with, with growing confidence and growing strength in the air. Yeah. We shall defend our island, whatever the cost may be. Yeah. We shall fight on the beaches. We shall fight 
are on the landing grounds. We shall fight in the fields and in the streets. We shall fight in the hills. We shall never surrender! His refined performance would capture Dutch's inner conflict, allowing audiences to delve into the depths of the outlaw's psyche. Oldman's portrayal would highlight the complexity of Dutch's character, showcasing both his charismatic charm, but also his darker impulses. Plus, for those that don't know, Gary Oldman, even with his diverse resume of rich roles, has never been in a Western. So maybe, show of hands out there, who wants to see Gary Oldman playing cowboy? Everyone! I think you said it perfectly, Mr. Oldman. So there you have it. Five more than capable actors that could dive into the role of gang boss Dutch Vanderland. Their talent and dedication to their craft ensure that they will share the screen with our beloved hero, Arthur Morgan, in a way that honors the legacy of the game and captivates audiences around the world. With their unparalleled performances, they will breathe new life into the iconic characters of Dutch Vanderland and his gang, transporting viewers to the untamed frontier of the Wild West. But now, it's your turn. Who do you see playing gang boss Dutch Vanderland in a live action adaptation of Red Dead Redemption 2? Please like, subscribe, and let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.